everybody, welcome back to Faraday Research and it's Friday night and I'm doing a new build tonight. So, um, Laser Saber is another YouTuber and I highly recommend you check out his channel. He's got some really, really fantastic stuff on his site. Uh, Laser Hacker, Laser Saber on YouTube. And about eight or ten years ago, he made this thing called a graphite battery. It's an earth battery. So I made it and I got some really amazing results with it. So I'd like to share that with you guys tonight. Um, if you haven't become a member, bottom right hand corner. Also below is my email. If you want to get training online, Fusion 360 or learn how to make a coil or you have a problem with circuits or whatever, I can go online with you either in a Zoom meeting, Skype, WhatsApp, whatever you wish. Make a donation to me and we can do an hour online. And then we could shoot ideas and teach you how to make stuff. You know, it helps me out. So, anyways, we'll get into the build here. So, Laser ha uh, Saber made this uh, build about eight or ten years ago. And he made these carbon graphite batteries. And I got some really amazing results, considering how small it is. So, um... The parts uh, that you need for this build is you need a carbon graphite rod. Now, the ones he were using, actually, he started with small ones like this. Eventually, he got to a 3-inch diameter by, I think it was 10 inches tall. It's about 100 bucks for it. Uh, they're very easy to drill into, so you're going to need a small drill bit, all right? And you're going to drill a hole in the center of this carbon graphite rod, about a half inch down. And you're going to want to stick a copper wire in it so it's sticking out the top which I have here on the on this one here just enough so it's snug it fits right in and then you can see secure it down you can put uh, glue or whatever you want on the top of it the second piece you're gonna need for this build is magnesium strip okay this is what's gonna activate the reaction so you can order these on Amazon there's a couple companies out in the US that have it this one's uh, uh, five millimeters by 0.2 millimeters thick 99% magnesium. And then the last piece you're gonna need for this build is paper towel. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna wrap one layer of paper towel around this rod. You're gonna tape off the ends so it's nice and secure, uh, no wrinkles, nothing, make it very, very smooth. Tape it off so it's not gonna move and it's not gonna un unravel, all right? After you do that, you're gonna take the magnesium strip and you're gonna wrap it around and you're going to leave about an eighth of an inch gap in between the magnesium strip so they're not touching. If they touch, it will wreck the, uh, the current flow. So you want to keep that gap there. So after you do that, tie it off. Leave a little bit on the end to come off the top. Tape it off. Make sure it's nice and tight. So now you got the paper towel in between here inside. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to boil some salt water. Okay, let it cool off and just drench this for a split second. Let it dry off a bit, all right, and you're done. Now, let's check this out. Totally amazing. I'm gonna, I got it hooked up to the, uh, to the battery at the top there. Uh, negative is on the magnesium and the copper is the positive. So let's turn it on. Look at that. I got 1.55 volts off this tiny little cell. Now, tell me that's not amazing. Now, this battery will probably last five to 10 years. Now, he had this uh, submerged um, in oil, I believe, for five years, took it all apart, and the magnesium was still like at 98%. It hadn't deteriorate nothing. So these batteries will last very, very, very long time. Now, as it dries out, because now you got it wet, the voltage will actually go down and also the current. Now, this one's not putting out very, very little current. It's because of the size of it. So you're wanting to get, you know, a carbon graphite rod quite a bit larger than this. I just bought this because I wanted to try it out to see if it, there was actually anything uh, to this. And you can see, look, you know, and these ones are actually made. He says they're like earth batteries. So you can actually stick these in the ground and the natural humidity of the earth is going to keep this thing charged up. But to get 1.5 uh, 
1.53 volts like that's pretty pretty amazing so food for thought if you like you know if you like this project definitely give me a thumbs up i think it's really really cool um this is definitely something to uh, investigate more and i got about three other ones i'm going to hook them all up and maybe hook them up in series or parallel and after i do that i'm going to do some more voltage testing and see if i can actually power a motor with it or something like that but yeah uh i just want to test it see if it worked and wow amazing so yeah we'll leave it at that um if you guys have any questions comments below uh leave those comments below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can and everybody have a great weekend hey guys it's mike for faraday research again uh this is kind of part two of the uh build so um i'm doing these uh carbon graphite batteries and i decided to do two of them and i couldn't resist i had to add this to the video check it out we have light and the two of these together are putting out 3.06 volts now tell me that's not cool yeah so yeah 3.6 volts and i got one led light lit and it's bright too it's actually very bright and i got i think two more of these and i think i'm going to make two more so i'm going to have four so i should have about six volts six plus volts and i should be able to run motors with this yeah pretty amazing so yeah uh, if you like the video give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe bottom right hand corner my email's below uh in the description i got my patreon everything's there is a very cool build and i'm just going to continue making these anyways uh yeah uh they're very easy to build and uh yeah you can try it out for yourself all right we'll see everybody soon